Hello guys, my name is Sayed from Sayed's Calligraphy Studio and in this video we'll be taking a look into the new Garuda pens. We'll be having a proper maintenance of it. Uh, the video will be about maintenance and the video will be about how to uh, put the ink into the pen, how to fill the pen with ink and how to get started with the flow of the ink. So without further ado, we can get right into the video so that you guys can understand how to start with the pen and how to maintain the pen and what are the basics of the pen. It is very simple short steps that you have to follow and it is very easy to dis disassemble and reassemble the pen. So I am sure you guys will enjoy the process. So move on to next video to see the process itself. Clean the pen or to fill the ink in the pen we'll first be needing a cup of water it can be any use and throw cup of water like this and we'll be needing some tissue paper so first of all whenever we are getting a pen the Garuda pen what we will be doing will be, we'll be opening the pen and we want to fill the ink in the pen so first I'll show you how to fill the ink then I'll show you how to maintain the pen this is a eyedropper pen so we'll fill the ink directly into this barrel and we'll re-screw the cap again so for the purpose of demonstration I'll be using a filled ink it is very normal cheap ink so if any cheap ink works, it means that any costly ink or any branded ink will also work. So whenever we are filling the ink, we'll always make sure that we'll be filling the ink till the top here. Below the threads, we can directly pour the ink into the barrel here. till here and if you can see the side of the pen the ink window it is completely filled with the ink now while screwing we'll first screw the pen from top like this and we will not screw completely we will leave two or three threads cap here then we'll take our water and we'll make our pen upside down like this like this then we'll completely screw the pen what will happen the ink will flow down towards the nib into the feeder and we will start getting the feed sometimes what will happen in some cases if the uh, ink is uh, like very free flowing the ink will start falling drops constantly like this if you can see oh, one minute I'll just show you that in this demonstration you can see that the ink is flowing from the nib drop 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 and drop it will not stop until the barrel is completely empty so what we can do in that case we we'll just have to take the pen make it upward like this hold it upward open the pen unscrew the pen completely we have completely unscrewed the pen now we will just screw it back now this time we won't be making the pen upside down we will just screw it completely now if we rotate we won't be getting any drops or anything from the feeder now if you can understand this is a flex pen and a flex pen will need a lot of ink flow to get the flex the fluency in the flow and whenever we are writing we won't want a railroading so that is why we will be using uh, extra amount of flow through the feeder towards the ink okay now after completely filling the ink can just try to write yep 
you won't be getting any kind of railroading if you fill the ink correctly. So it is very simple. You just have to understand the process of filling the ink and getting the ink into the feeder after that you won't be having any kind of problem first of all we have to understand that this is not a dip pen this is a fountain pen which has been uh, enhanced to hold tip nibs and to get the flow which is required to get uh, proper shades and hair lines so that is why the flow is there and to get the flow we have to do something and to get started we have to do uh, at least something that we have to understand and to get the ink flow started and if in case you are getting railroading or anything after writing some uh, sentence or paragraph or anything or even a word sometimes the ink uh, is tend to block into the feeder so what you can do you can just unthread the pen like for a couple of thread one two and again make it upside down and close it so you will uh, lose two or three drops of inks you can just do it that in any ink bottle which you are using then you can again start writing you will not have any kind of issue your pen will work completely fine and the flow will be fabulous and it will be very smooth and free flowing flow now if you are using watercolor based inks or acrylic pastings in a fountain pen that is completely not acceptable because this is a feeder based fountain pen so it the feeder uh, will uh, get jammed with the watercolor pigment or acrylic pigment or gouache or anything only use fountain pen inks with this pen i am sure that it is a clear statement that only use fountain pen inks with this pen to get the perfect results now i hope this is understandable and if you have any kind of doubts i am always here uh, to explain anything that is regarding the pen and this is something that uh, the flow is something which is extremely inconsistent with a lot of pens a lot of uh, flex pens so we have worked a lot on getting the flow correct but there is a downside in that which is the sometimes the flow gets overloaded uh, every time that you fill a new ink completely new ink in the pen so at that time i have showed you what you can do you can just make the pen upright open the pen get, let it uh, sit for like one or two seconds then again close the pen tightly what it will do it will create an air lock in the barrel that will not allow excess ink flow on the paper i hope that is understandable now we can move on to next segment which is cleaning the pen and maintaining the pen